If you're watching this video, you probably know there is a lot of craze at the moment and there has been for the last six months or so about TikTok Shop. Now, there's no denying the results you can get from TikTok Shop are very, very impressive, but I assume you're watching this video because you're probably not seeing results with TikTok Shop and perhaps you're looking for an alternative platform or marketing strategy that is gonna lift your brand and your product to a new level so you can actually generate more sales and make more profit. This is the video for you. I'm gonna be sharing an alternative to TikTok shop and giving you five reasons why it is better. I use it myself. If you are a long-term subscriber, you're already going to know exactly what I'm going to talk about here. But if you are new, make sure you subscribe. This is what I'm all about. Pay attention. I'll be showing my results in this video. And what this is, is going to be five reasons why Google shopping is better than TikTok shop. Yes, they're not directly the same type of thing. With TikTok shop, you're obviously advertising products on TikTok in their own marketplace for people to purchase directly on that platform. However, but Google Shopping is obviously a marketing channel within the Google Ads ecosystem. If you're unfamiliar with what Google Shopping is or what the platform looks like or how ads are displayed, I've obviously just searched here Gymshark t-shirt. The images and the tiles you see here, these product tiles, you can see sponsored up here. This is the Google Shopping Ads section of Google. You have sponsored search ads here. When you're on your email account, you might have images popping up on the side. That is the display network. Obviously, you've got YouTube ads as well, which is part of Google ecosystem but this is Google Shopping and it is by far the most effective way to advertise your products on Google get them in front of the right customers drive relevant traffic to your website and most importantly get those sales flowing in I've used Google Shopping now since 2018 so six years in the game with Google Shopping I obviously use other areas of Google as well but because I own e-commerce businesses this is by far the best channel to advertise products on one of those reasons being pricing with TikTok shop I don't know about you obviously people's TikTok feeds are differently whenever I have a quick browse on TikTok I am absolutely hammered with people trying to sell me massive packs of toilet roll or little packages with a million screwdriver and tool pieces in them it's not something I need it's being shoved down my throat it's very annoying and it's what people call interruption marketing you're shoving ads in front of people whilst they're using the app for another purpose no one goes on TikTok to be marketed to whereas people go on Google Google to search for something that they're interested in or they want to buy for example yes you're presented with ads on Google same way you're presented with videos of people trying to sell stuff to you on TikTok but these ads are relevant I'm not searching Gymshark t-shirt on Google and being given results for toilet roll that's just not how it works so anyway more onto the pricing thing obviously with the toilet roll example the main thing people are pushing onto you is the fact it's so incredibly cheap and you know you can get 90 rolls of toilet roll for four pounds or what whatever it is or a toolkit for 90p it is so heavily price driven and these you know listings on tiktok shop are driven literally down to the lowest possible price that there's no money to be made for the people selling these products and if you're trying to sell and trying to compete on price on tiktok shop selling the same stuff everyone else is it really isn't going to work out for you because again it's kind of like amazon if you're not the cheapest on an amazon listing then you're not going to be the first spot on that page and people aren't going to buy your version of the product essentially so please bear that in mind yes you are competing on price with google for example dog beds you can see there's a variety of different prices here but it is not the be all and end all of why someone's going to click your ad there are so many other factors into this people aren't always going to buy and click just the cheapest ones for the sake of it people shop for quality product even if you're buying a car for example you're not going to go out and buy the cheapest possible car because it's going to be rubbish it's not going to work and it's going to probably fall apart the second you start driving it it's the same for most products you're going to often want to spend that little bit more not necessarily the highest amount you know you're not necessarily going to go for this 105 pound dog bed here but this is a great example people spend money on their dogs they want them to have the best most comfortable life as possible so they're going to treat them to good quality products whereas on tiktok shop people are after a bargain and they're going to want to pay that bottom price regardless of the quality or anything like that yes price is important as it is with anything but it's not the be all and end all on google shopping now point number two is going to be fulfillment obviously tiktok have quite strict restrictions especially here in the uk with which delivery companies you can use time frames into which you must submit your tracking by and obviously certain delivery time frames that's completely understandable they want these users on tiktok to be not only getting good products for good prices but they want them to receive them very quickly the same with me and my brand for example i want my customers to get their products as quickly as possible for example in q4 
before last year when we had a bit of a nightmare with USPS in America and some packages were delayed by seven or eight days. That was an issue we were able to resolve, you know, quite nicely without too many issues. But if those sort of delays happened, if you were a TikTok shop seller, you could be risking your account getting suspended or banned and you'd no longer be able to sell on TikTok shop and that's your business completely gone. You're relying on someone else's marketplace, again, kind of like Amazon, and it's not your own website. So like I just used that example, if something does go wrong, your business could literally close overnight and there's nothing you can do about it. And to add to that point, obviously Google Shopping is a marketing channel. It's not its own marketplace platform like TikTok. I did just wanna mention this though, just to put that point across as to sort of explain how important it is to have your own website to build up rather than rely on a marketplace like TikTok. Now, number three, arguably the most important in my opinion is gonna be your own data. And you notice I sort of compare TikTok with Amazon quite a bit. And a great example of this is when that you don't own your customer's data if you're selling on Amazon or TikTok. If you have 10,000 orders on Amazon, for example, you're not gonna be able to market to those people through email or SMS because Amazon own that data. They own the rights to use it however they want to. Amazon can start emailing, you know, these customers that bought your Amazon product, they can start emailing them other brands. Whereas it's so important to build your own customer list for future email marketing, SMS messages and things like that. It's so important to bring those customers back and having your own customer list makes that possible. And just using this example here on one of my US businesses here, you can see this is data on my email marketing platform, Clavio. Last 30 days, you can see total revenue for this business is a quarter of a million dollars. $45,000 worth has come from email. 20% of the revenue you can see has come solely from email marketing. That would not happen if you're selling on TikTok shop. And I stress this a lot in other videos, but it's so important to focus on building a brand, good customer relationship, bringing these customers back into your business. Yes, TikTok shop is great for quick pump and dump products to make a quick buck. But what's the point in making 10K one month when the next month you're gonna make nothing? I mean, for me anyway, that really doesn't appeal to me. I'd rather make 2K consistently for five months rather than 10K one month and nothing the next. So, I mean, that's just my opinion, each to their own. But I hope you're getting the message I'm putting across here about how important it is to build a brand owning your customer's data, using it responsibly, marketing to them through email effectively. And this right here is obviously just a great example. These figures here are obviously not even peak. Summer is quite quiet for this business, but just again, to prove my point of how important it is bringing customers back, not just focusing on those first time buyers. If we just do Q4 for 2023, just how important this side of a business is. The front end obviously is important bringing those customers in through the door, but this is equally as important bringing them back into your business, turning them into repeat customers because you're not having to pay Pay to market to them again. Anyway, let's do Q4 very quickly. You can see this is the amount of revenue from email marketing in Q4 last year, 350K from email flows. That's abandoned cart things, for example, when people abandon the checkout or emails people receive when they sign up to your email list, when the pop-up box comes up on your website. You don't get things like that again on TikTok shop and obviously campaigns when you're sending out your marketing campaigns like Black Friday deals and things like that. You can see the breakdown here. Now, point number four is consistency. Briefly touched on it. I won't need to go into too much depth there. Like I said, yes, TikTok shop, you can make 10, 20, 30K one month with a low ticket product. You know, people will love it. It will sell really quickly, hundreds of units a day, for example. But if it's a trend, that trend could die in the next month and you could be left with little to no cash flow. And you know, that's that's the nature of it really. You, you're not gonna have a long-term business. You're not technically allowed to drop ship with TikTok shop. You have to have obviously very fast delivery times. And if you're drop shipping from China, you're running that risk of the slow delivery times, obviously then which could result in suspension or the ban of your account. So let's say there's a trend popping off on TikTok right now and you decide to order an amount of inventory. I'm gonna use 20K for example. Obviously that's quite a lot. Even if you're starting out and you order $1,000 worth of inventory for this trend, by the time you have that stock and you ready to list your product on TikTok shop and you're ready to start shipping orders, that trend could have died down just like that. So by the time you've got your stock, you know you're ready to sell these products because everything's popping off on TikTok. And then you realize, oh, trend's over. I'm now left with thousands of pounds or thousands of dollars worth of stock that I can't sell. What do I do? It's not a good situation to leave yourself in. Now there's nothing wrong with ordering inventory. I order inventory for my businesses, but I don't go and add a new product to my website and order 2000 units of it because obviously there's no proof of concept 
that there. We send hundreds of units to USA warehousing, UK warehousing, but these units are best sellers. We know they're going to sell. Yes, there's going to be times where I have overordered stock or some stock starts sitting there for a while. Going back to the previous point with my customer list and the data I own, if I've got stock I want to get rid of, I could just reduce the price, run a nice little sale, send it to my email list, and that stock will be gone in a day or two. Again, like I keep saying, something you can't do if you're relying on another marketplace platform like TikTok Shop. And I do just want to say, yes, you can make money on TikTok Shop. There's no denying that, but I just truly believe the importance of brand and growing a long-term business is just so much better than this way of doing it. But again, each to your own. If it works for you, great. But the purpose of this is to sort of hopefully guide you and shift your mind space into growing a brand rather than, like I said earlier, quick sort of pump and dump products. And the final point I do want to mention, I kind of said this at the start, and that is going to be buy intent. My example was I get hammered with toilet roll. I get absolutely hammered with random people on TikTok with 10 likes trying to sell me with massive packages of toilet roll, toolkit, name the most pointless and strange items. You've probably seen people on TikTok trying to sell it to you. So, and when I see that, there's no intent for me to see that ad or that video. It's been shoved in my face, it's interruption. Whereas with Google, Yes, it's paid marketing and a lot of this TikTok shop stuff is organic, but I often say there's a reason it's paid is because you're guaranteeing to appear in front of the right audience. You know, your products on Google are not going to show up for random search terms. They're going to show up in front of people that are searching for your product and that intent is so powerful. If they click on your ad, they like your product, the price is good, the reviews are good they're going to buy it and that all stemmed from the intent search they made on Google. Obviously Facebook and other platforms like that are very powerful with ads as well and that isn't intent based marketing. That's a completely different video but you can look through my channel. Obviously Google is my main platform which is why I'm using it as the example in this video and there's literally no wasted ad spend on Google shopping in terms of getting irrelevant impressions or clicks. Yes you might have the odd search term that is a bit strange and, but there's a way to tackle that on Google shopping. You can exclude search terms to make sure you're not showing up for certain things for example you know if you sell a white t-shirt you can exclude the search term black t-shirt things like that there's just much more control much more accuracy and again at the end of the day you're driving these visitors to your own website collecting their emails bringing them in as customers reselling them bringing them back as repeat customers and overall building your brand now i hope this video hasn't sounded too much like a rant but i thought it was important to make and you know just to sort of share with you that there is other options out there than tiktok shop i know it's very trendy right now but brand is king and if you want more detailed videos on how to run google shopping ads and the sort of results you could see from them go on my channel have a watch get your notepads out start implementing some of the things i teach and hopefully you'll see your business grow properly but anyway thank you so much for watching if you want a team of experts to manage or scale your google ads instead if it's perhaps a bit too daunting for you or if you've already given it a go and not seen any good results then i do have my own google ads agency ad Raw. i'll leave a link down below just contact us on there and we'll get back to you to see if you are a good fit. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.